you've made this investment. It's the equivalent of 240 million euros to three leading Nigerian banks. Talk us through your identified targets because they aren't distressed banks that you're investing in and what exactly your investment entails. Yes, good afternoon, Alicia from uh, Lagos. Uh, today we uh, signed loans uh, with three banks, First Bank of uh, Nigeria, uh, GTB and uh, Standbeck IBTC. Uh, this doesn't have to do with uh, investment in acquiring these banks or anything like that. We are signing with them a framework loan, a uh, credit line, which will be used by these banks to finance infrastructure investments, medium scale, uh, perhaps up to 50 uh, million uh, US dollars each, that will help the uh, Nigerian economy uh, build up that uh, infrastructure, which is very vital uh, for the real economy to uh, uh, do uh, what it has to do for the development of the economy. These are banks that uh, we have worked with in the bank. They are strong banks uh, and we are very confident uh, in working with them uh, once again. Well, uh, what's been the attractive force for you here, igniting your interest, making the investment that you have? We are actually uh, seeing this as a very good time for us uh, to go into Nigeria, into the Nigerian financial uh, sector. Uh, it has been, uh, of course, uh, buffeted by the economic crisis, uh, the whole system, just like uh, the financial sectors of uh, all economies. But the country and the central bank, the finance ministry, have uh, taken uh, some very decisive actions, corrective actions. Of course, more needs uh, to be done. They will keep on uh, doing it. So we think that uh, things are going in the right direction. We have picked uh, three uh, very strong uh, counterparts, uh, and we are showing our presence here. Uh, if you uh, wish, uh, if you will, uh, this is a sign of confidence in, in these banks and in the sector. Well, confidence at least in the healthy banks. While these institutions uh, you have chosen are healthy, they are liquidity stressed, and that's important to emphasize. But are you at any stage going to be looking at uh, investments in any of the other weaker financial institutions in Nigeria, those that are actually on the scout for some kind of investment, whether it be local or foreign? Well, uh, let me uh, clarify, the European Investment Bank uh, is not in the business of either acquiring or taking stakes uh, in uh, banks and uh, certainly we are not going to be involved in uh, the process of uh, recapitalizing any of the weaker banks in the Nigerian sector. Certainly not acquiring uh, any stakes within them, but uh, helping out in terms of any capital injections like you have with these three that you've mentioned? Yeah, just to, uh, to, to clarify, these are senior loans, mm -hmm. so this is uh, debt. It's a capital injection, but not uh, equity. We will not be involved in any equity uh, acquisition. Uh, we are not going to, of course, limit ourselves to working with just these three banks. We have been working traditionally with more banks in the Nigerian sector. We will keep on looking for other banks uh, through which we can uh, uh, use our funds, our credit lines to uh, finance the infrastructure needs uh, of this country. But I wanted to make sure this is not really equity investment. Yep, definitely that understood. Let's take a look then with your involvement in the financial arena. What lessons you're hoping Nigeria could learn from some of the experiences we're currently seeing uh, in Europe at the moment where fiscal uncertainty, particularly in Greece, uh, Portugal and Spain, uh, have come to the surface. What lessons do Nigeria's, uh, does Nigeria's financial space need to take too hot? Well, I think that uh, the lessons uh, have been looked at uh, by the authorities uh, from the beginning of the crisis and the lessons are that it's very important to have uh, a strong, uh, well-capitalized uh, banking sector. It's very important to the extent that there are some bad assets uh, to be uh, taken care of uh, and also it's very important to have the appropriate regulation uh, and supervision. These are the, le the lessons that uh, we have learned uh, all over the world. And these are the lessons actually that the uh, Central Bank of Nigeria has been acting on uh, since last year. They have uh, more things to do. I think the governor uh, is going to be uh, tomorrow here in Lagos discussing about these things. One issue uh, is uh, the issue of uh, uh, the management of uh, bad assets uh, of banks. So there's still work uh, to do, mm -hmm. but the key lessons is better, our better capitalization, uh, stronger uh, supervision and uh, correct regulation. 
part of that work to be done is also the seeing through of a formation of the asset management company to help distressed banks. Looking at the political situation in the country, it's one of the hurdles uh, that that formation of the AMC has uh, currently experienced. Is the political situation in Nigeria at all unnerving for you? Well, I, I had the opportunity to meet uh, with uh, Vice President uh, Jonathan in Abuja on uh, Monday. I also had the opportunity to meet with the Finance Minister, uh, several ministers of uh, the government. We discussed uh, the European Investment Bank's uh, plans uh, in the country. I saw a government that was engaged, a government that was very keen to attract uh, our investments uh, here. And I, I come out with uh, confidence and certainly a wish that uh, everything uh, will go well in this uh, country that has uh, really the potential to be a superpower in this continent and beyond. With that potential, I mean, looking at the situation in Europe once again, I mean, are you seeing any mm. loan guarantees directed towards uh, Eurozone economies? And if so, does that to any extent put any pressure on how much is available for your Africa projects? We, uh, we have made it clear that uh, the European Investment Bank uh, provides uh, loans, provides uh, funds to finance our projects, economically viable, good uh, investment projects. We are not uh, basically uh, a bank that provides uh, budget support or finances uh, uh, deficits uh, of, uh, of any sort. So we think that uh, we have uh, served very well uh, the worldwide economy in 2009. Uh, using the same business model, we can continue serving uh, well both the European Union, the world, and especially Africa uh, in 2010.